Hey you, what's good? Today I'm going to show you how to record your own GT7 script to make insane money without struggling to get my pre-made script running. This here is especially useful for people who want to get their Tomahawk script running on PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 4 Pro. So let's get it. You see, as much as you may put your faith in my capable hands to make your script running and working, it's almost impossible to do it for everyone. And I have a confession to make. I am not a messiah who can take into consideration everyone's hardware, individual internet speeds, loading times and different setups. That's why today we're going to do a quick DIY. Do it yourself. I almost said DUI. So the first thing you need to do is to unpack your PS4 macro. Unpack it. That's all you need to do. Secondly, Make sure that you have your PS4 controller hooked up with your PC using a cable. Make sure that you have installed PS Remote 5.5, not the latest version, because the latest version sadly doesn't work. Trust me, the old version won't be working in the future. So hurry the shit up and start milking money. Now open your PS Remote Play. Do not update, okay? Don't update. No. Button no. No touch. You touch no. Your home network will be used for remote play. Yes. I mean, okay. So I'm connecting my PlayStation 5. You will press 4 if you have Pro, uh, 4 or 4 Pro. PlayStation 5. My PlayStation 5 is still connected with my controller. PlayStation 5. Okay. Now you need a number to link your PlayStation 5. It also asks you this number when you connect 4. So for me, I'm going to switch my OBS so I don't have to go to my living room. Now I am going to select Settings, System, Remote Play, Link Device. Now I'm going to type the same number in to my PS Remote Play. Poof! And now it will automatically disconnect my PlayStation 5 controller. No use for this anymore. Now your PlayStation 4 controller takes over. And you can basically go back to... Well, start Gran Turismo, okay? Let's start it up. Also make sure that your remote play connection is set to NAT Type 2. That means that your console is connected to the router, meaning that it uh, uses a private IP address. Kazunori Yamauchi! Before I continue, uh, very important. You see how smooth this runs here. There are no artifacts, there are no kind of, you know, disturbances on the screen. It didn't work that way all the time. I actually had a lot of issues. You see, I am using four monitors. Two white screens on my desk, one 65-inch TV up there on the wall, and one 85-inch TV in the living room. All of those are connected to my GPU, and Remote Play doesn't like that at all. When I have everything hooked up and playing, the GPU doesn't run Remote Play correctly. It will glitch, it will slow down, it will miss input signals. So in order to make it work smoothly, I had to disconnect my two TVs, I had to use only one widescreen monitor and switch my other monitor to full HD. Then the remote runs somewhat smoothly. I can still see some delay, but overall it runs smoothly because I'm recording at the same time, you see. So now when you basically have everything hooked up, so make sure that you have your correct car selected. SRT Tomahawk SVGT. Make sure that you have approximately 862.91 pp. Now, this is still your starting position. From Americas, you move down. That's it. That's all you need to do. Move down. Now, open your PS4 macro, okay? It will open. You don't need to do anything else. You don't need to open anything. Just select Record on Touch Off. Now select record. You see there's a red icon here. It turned red. That is supposed to happen, okay? If it doesn't happen, make sure it happens. Now what you need to do is press play because that starts recording. Poof! 
Red numbers are running, which means record. Now I will play. One, two, three, four, five, six. X. X. First race. Let's get it. I will hold down my speed already. Every loading time is different, but let's just record the race. X. X. Okay. Now, I'm going to let my speed button or acceleration loose when it starts. So I will not nick the first car. Let's try. Letting it loose. Okay, okay, okay. And now let's speed up. I will grind the wall. Miss the first car. Now we'll just start making this... Uh, Oh, it nicked the second one. Well, this kind of maintains the speed. If I grind fully, then that means that it will just slow down a bit. <sighs> and now I will do this for the next five minutes. Now, most important thing is that you can't really race. Number one, never race really, meaning that you are taking like uh, inner turns and uh, speeding uh, like a maniac in front of everyone. No, it needs to be clean, foolproof and pure. You need to avoid every other vehicle as much as possible. You will get to first place anyways. And for someone who thinks that, oh, I will cut those corners so I will make the lap times faster and get more money easier. No. No. Okay? No, you won't do that. Because you will fuck up your race. It's RNG. Cars will be in different positions, different time. So don't be a fool. It's entertaining, isn't it? It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. All right, we're nearly there. Now, even though the race is now finished, you still keep doing the same movement a bit. Because maybe one race, your car might be a bit slower. Or maybe you nick someone. So keep doing it approximately 20-ish seconds. Okay, I think that's enough coverage. And now, let loose of your acceleration. Now you press X. X. Give it a decent bit of time. X. So you will see it works. X. Clean race bonus. X. 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 Give it a bit of time because loading screens and stuff, you know, in order to get everything running smooth, you need to give it some time to breathe. X. X. Because exit is after X. Now, next race. Tomahawk race is a bit difficult because there are so many things that can go wrong. X. Four presses to the right. Exit. X. X. And now finish in the starting position. One press down. Now you select your playback. Press stop. That's it. What I recommend you to do is to save the script right now. Let's, uh, tight one. Let's name it tight one. Save. Now what you need to do is to select record button here. So the red will turn to black. That's all you need to do. Now, I will just open my script up again. Tight one. Let's see. Yeah, that's, that's proper. And now everything is in starting position. So... What I will do is I will press play and see if it works. Mm -hmm. Okay, it will start the race. Let's see if it uh, steps away from the gas and then kind of uh, free flows. Yeah, 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 it's not accelerating, as many people requested. Beautiful. Beautiful.
You see, even if it nicks the car, you will still get a clean race bonus. It's important that it doesn't do it several times. Now, I'm not going to force your hand into watching this whole run all over again. I will cut it to the part where it's already finished. All right, all right. As you can see, we are finishing first. Check out the lap times. Great. But now comes the most important part. Will it restart the race without my input? This is where usually people are complaining that uh, game selects uh, replay or some other foolish option. It all comes down to your internet connection, your kind of PC power as well, because as I mentioned, I'm having difficulties with several monitors connected. Okay, clean race bonus, even with the nick. Okay, okay, okay. Now, as you remember, I gave here a slight, 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 you know, a puffer, puffer size until I press X and then X again. Beautiful. Next race. Now make sure, now make sure that loading times, you take them into consideration. Always count for more loading rather than less. Okay, we'll go to exit. X and X. Press X. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Back to starting position. One down. All right. That's it. And now, as you can see, the script will start looping. Yep. Started from zero, meaning that it will turn into a new cycle. Yep. Here it goes. Round and round it goes. All right, then, as you can see, it works. Take into consideration everything I teached here. I hope that this helps you to record your own script using your own hardware. And it will make it as easy as possible. Use different cars, use different tracks. Try to find your own groove. Something easy, something simple. I think this here is the easiest way. So make sure it's foolproof and grind some money. I know that many people requested this video, so that's why I made it. I'm not all about GT7, you know, but I am happy to provide, let's say. By the way, I will make a Diablo 4 video very soon. Make sure to tune in. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like, smash that bell, and if you dare, subscribe as well. I'm Silly Lamas, and thanks for watching. Till next time.